Hey what's up guys today I'm going to show you how to make a fruit ninja game in scratch So let's get started So I have two two fruits here the one is like a melon it's just a circle but you can make it better uh the second sprite is, uh, second costume is this the half part of the melon and the second part of the melon this should be different uh, segregated then we have a banana the upper part and the lower part it should be named like melon first part melon 1 second part melon 2 banana as the same banana 1 and banana 2 and the main one should be named melon and banana you can have more but uh, i chose this so let's get start with scripting so when the green flag clicked broadcast start then when i receive start then uh, create clone of myself or just forever create clone of myself and wait 3 uh, seconds or you can put your randomizer like from 1 to 3 second and switch to costume pick random or just leave it to melon or banana as you want you put it here and also put your hide and then when i start as a clone then go to front show go to y minus 180 and x uh, pick random from of uh, minus 200 to 200 then this will be okay so as you can see now it spawns then we can make like forever repeat pick random the 45 to 70 i'm setting it you can change this these values change y by 4 so it will move upwards and this will be random value so its height cannot be detected then repeat until touching edge change y by minus 4 negative 4 so now you can see it's going up and then going down again up and again down so they are just going and going on you can remove this forever loop and do this and make a variable called score for all sprites and make it hidden or just let it be displayed and if they touch the ground then the score will be deducted by 1 as the player's aim is not to let any fruit fall so change score by negative 1 and then delete this clone so as you can see here it moves up and after move down the score is decreased so what this here set score to 0 and put it here then also make one more script for this for the rotation of the fruit Then I start as a clone. Forever, um, just uh, turn, and this also put a pick random. I'm putting a one and twelve degree. You can change these values. So let's see. So now it is rotating perfectly. This is a good rotation. Simple and decent. So now, now we are done with the spawning. You can also spawn multiple fruits. Like, just place these fruits below each of them, and the animations can be anywhere. So then you can add your script. Forever, remove this then. Forever, switch to costume. Pick random one, two, two. So it will be spawning randomly, randomly. like now the melon spawned and then now the banana then you can add 
then you can add the mouse one so make a new sprite called mouse set x to 0 and y to 0 set to to mouse then just uh, go to scripting and when I receive start and when the green flag click uh, hide and here also hide and put here a forever forever go to mouse pointer and that's it or you can put your show and set uh, ghost effect 200 this will be okay and also make something here so that our fruits collide with it just a small dot which will be invisible so as you can see here then you can go to scripting and when I start as a clone forever if touching mouse not mouse pointer the sprite named the mouse then just make a variable clone number for the sprite only and put here set clone number to 1 when the clone is made then put it here set loan number to 2 and then set loan number to 3 and put a create loan of myself in between and after this now this is good and delete and also make 3 variables no 4, vari four variables called uh, fruit x for all sprites fruit to y for all sprites fruit direction for all sprites and fruit costume or fruit name for all sprites make these hidden then set fruit name to costume name and set uh, fruit direction to direction fruit uh, set fruit x to x position and set fruit y to y position like this put it here and now this is ok then put your if statement if clone number is equal to 1 then the script will happen in the clone also duplicate this and put it in all like this one and also in this one and the above one no just this is ok so now make new script and I start as a clone if uh, clone number is equal to 2 switch to costume uh, fruit name and joined by fruit name and then the part 1 fruit name and 1 then go to x and y fruit x and fruit y then point in direction fruit direction go to front and show put this here and remove it from here so this is good then repeat until touching edge just to turn pick random 1 to 12 degree in the left direction or just uh, this right, right is ok 
the right direction 1 to 12 just starting still touching edge and when it is 3 switch to costume fruit name and 2 then rotate in the left direction pinch in the left let's see so when it is touching it so it's keep it keeps on rotating just put a uh, change y by minus 4 in both of these or you can increase the speed minus 6 now let's see so it is working good but you have to put one more thing put here delete this clone both of them and also change score by 1 put this here so now we can play it our score has changed by 1 2 3 4 5 and then 6 thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial